Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Today I have so many things to show you and tell you. Funny, I tried to wear most of the things that I'm going to show you. So I have a lot of makeup on, but I just, I, before I show you something, I kind of like to have tried it. I do have some like announcements that I don't, do not want to forget. The first one is Christian Audette is doing a giveaway of my entire collection. The candle, the lip combo, my eyeshadow stick that I'm wearing today. Okay, the giveaway ends on Sunday. They will contact you through Instagram and send the whole collection with the candle. Okay, last time during my Dean Davidson giveaway, we had someone who was messaging people, using my picture, saying something through WhatsApp. Do not fall for any of that, ever. People are just... I don't even know what to say. They are such opportunists and they will see something like this. I am not going to, if anything ever seems like out of my character, you guys have known me this long, just ignore it. Don't click on the link. Don't write them back. I still fall for crazy things sometimes, but I've gotten much better. They are going to be the ones that will message you with the prize. But what you have to do is follow us both on Instagram then you have to tag two friends under in the comments and we will have I believe we will have a page that you will do that I'll put it on my Instagram be for additional chance to win repost on your feed and tag us good luck I really think that you would enjoy my collection I love it still to this day I try not to just beat you to death with it but it's awesome okay then City Beauty is having a big sale. It is their anniversary. They sent me my favorites. And remember last week when we were talking about using a heavier moisturizer and I was telling you how much I've always loved using the City Beauty Sculpting Cream. So I have one downstairs. I just figured I'd grab this one out to use up here. I've used it for the last three days. I've really just been using what has been on this cap. It is very similar to the consistency of Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It comes with this spatula on top that you might have to get it out. It's not, you know, just, it's just got the best consistency. It's almost like butter, you know, just smoothing on your face. I really think that you would love this. And City Beauty is having a 40% off sale. It runs until the 31st and the main, a lot of my, my San Diego is sold out. So what I did today is I used a new one that they sent me. This is Pink Taupe and it is the matte lip. And when they say matte, it's not like, it's not like a lot of the other matte lips. It's just that it has no sparkle in it. That's what I would say. It's really almost like a cream. The lip liner I have it on is probably not what I typically would wear it with, but it's something else that I have new and I wanted to show it to you. I might change lips right in the middle of this, but so this is a good one, but what I really recommend is the clear. I have one up here and one downstairs and it is, okay, now this is the one from up here because my one from downstairs, I brought it up here, I thought, to show you it is empty. How often do you use a whole lip gloss. I have used so many of those. So I really, really do believe in those. Then I love the lid smoothing primer. The mascara is good. I just really have been impressed with their products. So now is the time, especially if you wanted to try that sculpting cream, if you want to try the clear lip gloss. And then when they get it back in stock, San Diego is my absolute favorite. I also love all of the nude, the pink nude, all of those colors are gorgeous. So don't forget about that, and I will put both of those links down below. Let's get started with something kind of exciting. A PR company messaged me and wanted to send me some of these products, and I told them that I would love to try them with no obligation, but I was pretty impressed when I got the PR box. You probably saw it on my Instagram, but it's Me Cosmetics. I've never heard of it, and they have a scalp foundation ultimate coverage scalp foundation this is the dark blonde they have white 
just all different kinds of colors. And then they also sent me their brow brush, their foundation brush, a nice microfiber towel. So I thought we would try it like right up here where I need it. I hate blending foundation into my hairline. I hate it because it's it's hard to get out. I'm gonna use this Smith brush. It's the first time I've tried it, but I had so much response from it. And if you watched Harush, her like insider secrets from being a celebrity makeup artist, one of her things was hair color. She said it can totally change your hairline and that absolutely no one goes without getting their you know hairline touched up before they go on camera like a shoot or on stage and then i had a friend telling me she had been on the news and she said they put it on her scalp so let's see i don't know if it's going to be um oh my gosh okay it is very easy and it's not very powdery i love that a bunch of powder and kicking up everywhere and See, I have grays up here. And I have, my hairline has just, you know, it's like I have hair right here, but it's just thin. It's like baby hair. It never, it's just the way my hairline has always been. I don't have like a real pretty round hairline like Brooke has the most beautiful hairline. I mean, it's just, I love it when she wears her hair up because she looks just like she did when she was a baby with that pretty hairline. Can you guys see how pretty that is? And how easy? And how much better that looks? I kind of, I mean, I knew I was going to do this, so I kind of left some out. Now you could run your bronzer brush up there further if you want. And then I curled my hair because a lot of you wanted me to show you how I put my hair up. So in order to do that, I need my ends to be curled and I didn't. So bottom line, I'll probably do that this weekend and maybe post it on Monday or maybe Sunday. Just depends. On the weekends, I try to, I don't mind uh, video, but I try not to have a time limit. That looks so good, you guys. I'm pretty daggone excited about this because I have done this before, but I don't think I've done it since I lived in the other house. I haven't done it here, but oh my gosh, that looks so good. Okay, let's do it up here. I'll try to get to my, my part here. You can see my grays and my silvers. See if that looks any better. I love it. I, I really love that. I mean, that's a big difference than shining bright. So thank you to Me Cosmetics. I have not even looked to see what else they sell. I'm hoping I'll get to try some more things, but Houston, Texas, that's pretty neat. I'm pretty excited about that. And another exciting little product that I got this week I kept watching different YouTubers use Refi. This must be a brand that launched when I was looking at furniture and just doing other things. I, you know, was curious at first, and then, you know, after you see something about 20 times, you decide you need to try it too. I think it was when someone finally showed this brush. I thought, okay, I'm gonna go see what it's about. And it's a real sweet girl. I cannot remember her name now. I watched some of her videos last night. She created it to be kind of like that clean girl thing that's so, you know, in right now where everything's dewy and easy. I can be that girl. It's just harder when you're on camera and it's harder when it needs to last and it's harder when you have normal to oily skin and you live in a humid climate. So I'm kind of combining it with my powders and glam and everything, but I am so impressed with everything really, but especially the brow. It is, I see why people are just crazy about it. A lot of times if I'm ordering something for the first time, like a brand, I'll order like little kits. And I think that's what I did. I ordered the brow combo. And what did it come with? Did it just come with these two? 
it was the light. I'm not sure. Seems like it came with a, hold on. It did, I forgot to use this today. I was like, it seems like it came with three different things. I only used two of them today. So, and I don't know if you can see my brows, but I really tried to do that whole brushed up type thing. I mean, not crazy or anything, but if you do like that look, this is gonna get that for you. Her brows are just full on. Okay, so it's got this teeny tiny, teeny tiny brow pencil with the brush on the end. And then this product is just amazing. It is the, I think it's called the Styler. Okay, it's almost like a little powdery pomade that's in the end of this. And then, so you have this little thing, then you do the other side, very creative, and you have this brush. This is the most of the color that you see on my brow today. And I tried to do it just a little bit more so I could make sure you could see it. And like I said, it's the light. So you just dab it in there and do your brows. And it is, it's not like a pomade that's scary and very pigmented and you can't make a mistake. It's not like that at all. It's almost like a putty or something. It's just, just take it from me. It's easy. Then you have, in this kit, <laughs> on this side, if you pull the cap off, you get this really intense brush. So if you're someone that really has thick brows and you want to brush them up, you have this brush. Then you have this comb. Then when you unscrew it, you have this, which is the like set. And when you put it in your brows the first time, it's gonna be, you're gonna think, oh no, it's white, but it dries clear and it just, I don't know how much I, okay, mine are still pretty holding in there, pretty stiff. So I don't think it's going to be letting go anytime soon. That is the first thing. Then I got the brush. You can see I used it today. I actually used it to blend out, okay. I used it to blend out this cream bronzer in tan. I think it was a set now that I think about it because it seems like I remember you pick what bronzer, gorgeous gorgeous i mean the whole time i'm using it i'm thinking how pretty it is how smooth it blends out it doesn't stick just right where you put it beautiful and i really could have gone today with concealer and just this and did not even need to put on foundation and powder if i was only running out for like an hour or just going to the beach or the pool or something like that but when you're going to be on camera you need more makeup or you just, it just doesn't look the same. But I loved this so much. Very simple packaging that a lot of you would love. And then I got this blush and the bad thing is I used another blush first. And so I don't really think, you know, it's light. So I don't really think you can get the full effect of it. Um, but just a sweet, light color, but very pigmented. Just, yeah, it's gonna be one of those that's just hard to see. Loving all of my purchases from Refi. And then this is the last thing that I got and it is a gloss. I actually ordered the lip liners too. After I got this, I was so impressed, I ordered the lip liners. But this is, it's scary at first. It's like a color and I've got it on right now. But um, here, let me turn down my light real quick. Hold on, we'll see if that's any better. But it just, here, let me put it over my face. It's just like a liquid highlighter that blends right in. It did not lift. It's almost like, it looks like it's gonna be a coppery color, but it ends up being pretty much clear. So I do have that on with a myriad of other things here. Main thing is, if you are curious like I was, Love it. Here we go, Hourglass Powder. I have had this in the past. I actually just got it yesterday. And when I bought it in the past, I bought a small one, like the trial size. And I always regretted it because I couldn't get the full feel for the powder. I couldn't put my whole puff and everything in there. So I got it again. And the reason is I've been watching a lot of makeup artists. And you know, there are some places on your face that you want to set with a powder like Laura Mercier or 
um, the Huda Beauty or something like that, and they really, you know, smooth your pores and give you that matte look. But then there are other places on your face that I want to set that I don't necessarily want to have that look, but I don't, I want to be able to layer over, for instance, like cream contour. I want to be able to layer over that with my bronzer and my blush, but I don't want it matted down. So that is why I got this, and it's supposed to be really good for that. And I think it's, you know, one of those products that you probably already have, but I will be using it soon. I did not use it today because I used so much else. Okay, Bobbi Brown. I went to the Bobbi Brown counter this week, and I went to go get Chestnut Foundation Stick. And she didn't have it, so I started thinking about it. I actually bought the wrong one. I bought almond at first, and it was way too light. I didn't even try it. I could look at it and tell, so I went back. She didn't have chestnut, but she had these new little concealer, um, skin concealer stick, and I got espresso. And the reason I got this, have you seen how people you know, contour around their lips and then they blend it out like Scott Barnes does that. Um, J-Lo is famous for doing that. Kim Kardashian is famous for doing that. I bought this for that. I did it one time and I'm, I'm going to have to try it again. I'm just not good at it yet, but that is what I bought that for. Another stick that I have always loved and I went and repurchased it is the Y535. I think it's the darkest one they have in Sephora. This is one of my favorite dark contour sticks. It's it's just a foundation, stick foundation, but it's a really good shade if you want to just play in that. I used it today, matter of fact. No, I didn't, I used the Refi, but I have been using this and I just use, I don't put it on my face like I used to. I actually dot into it and then put it on. But I really like it and I've loved this for years. So I can wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly recommend that. I bought the Fenty Beauty lipstick. I do not like when companies do this, when they sell you the refillable lipstick and the case. I mean, I guess I know that I am rarely gonna go through a whole lipstick and need a refill. And I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me below how you feel about that. I'm just curious. But the color is one that I saw a couple of people try on and I just decided I wanted to try it. But it is Mother Lover, number four. And I, I was gonna try to get away with just not even getting the case, but it's so primitive here. I was going to maybe take off this and then try on that and I'll show you the lip liner. Okay, it's hard for me to, um, that did, that came off pretty well. I'm gonna say it's hard for me to switch lips in the middle. Okay, this is the lip liner. This is another one of Harouche's recommendations and it is just bougie. It's the Kyra Weiss lip liner. I had to order it, I think from Derm Store and it's mauve, and it was in her little video, if you saw, that had all of her favorites. It's really nice. I, today was my first day using it, so. But it is a pretty color. Okay, that's kind of sloppy. Put them under pressure. <laughs> okay, so now this might not go with this. We're going to do it. Wow, it's lighter than it looks. I do like that shape of this. That is really pretty. Okay, I have to admit, that's pretty. And I would try to put it in the case, but I've seen so many people struggling. I'm gonna have to do this in private. <laughs> A few other things that I wore today are these very inexpensive Essence products. Brooke and I were in Ulta and I was just going through. Matter of fact, I think I asked her what her favorite highlight was. 
and she said it was an older one from Anastasia. And I said, I, I like the highlights that look like highlights, but they still are like a skin color. And she said, well, I think Essence has a good one. So I went over there and sure enough, it's this one, Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And it is very, very pretty skin tone. And I put it on, I think I've been falling back in love with these brushes. I think I put it on with this brush. And it was just very luminous, but not icy or sparkly or anything like that. So really good product. And then this, I just happened to see, you know, I've been into the luminous bronzers lately. So this is the Sun Club Luminous Bronzing Powder in the medium tone. And it is beautiful. It's what I have basically all over that cream bronzer and it's just beautiful i think it's just a gorgeous bronzer the color kind of reminds me of that mark jacobs bronzer that was in the white was it tantastic and i can't wait to use it in the crease of my eye i knew i wanted to use my eye pencil today but i'm going to use that for eye makeup one day. I think it would just be gorgeous. And then I picked out two of these blushes and one of them was like a coral and Brooks said, I already have that one. So you can put it back. So I got this one, which is um, all you need is pink. And that is the blush that I have on. So three great products for you to pick up this weekend if you go into Ulta. Okay, my eyes today, I used my eye pencil which is, you guys, I'm gonna do another get ready with me. I'll do a million of them, but, and I'm gonna use this because I think every time I used it, I did not have good lighting and I wasn't using this, my really good camera. It is just so pretty. It is just the prettiest eye pencil I have ever used. I used it today. It's so easy. This is what I have on underneath and it stays it will not budge it will not crease and it is just such an easy eye pencil and then as a last tribute and just hug to marlena i had purchased some makeup geek eyeshadows it was that last day she did that announcement and she put all of her shadows on sale i got one i knew i wanted was her black i think it's called corrupt and mine broke and it was so messy, I had to end up throwing it away because it is so black. If you want a black eyeshadow, now you can't get this anymore, I don't think. I don't know if she's still selling them. But anyway, so I did get these eyeshadows and then I got some lighter ones, Shimmer Shimmer. That's what I have on my lid. And I put one of these over my eye pencil. And that is what I have on my lids today. But I just wanted to kind of you know, say goodbye to Marlena through you guys and through this video, and I think she did an awesome job. Two more things that I have used this week and I really loved, and it's kind of like the higher end version of the Essence, but it's this Sugar Rush by Tarte bronzer. And look at this. It's one of the baked, and the tester was out, and you know how I am. I don't want to get one that doesn't have any bronze in it. So I opened them up and they were all just really pigmented like this and just beautiful. They really have a good um, sheen. I'm going to be like beaming by the time this video is over. So I grabbed that and I really, really like it. I have also enjoyed that Park Avenue Princess. And then this is Moonlit Glow Powder. Same principle as the Essence. It is a, we'll try not to throw it across the room. It is a soft highlighting powder that is skin tone. Let me, the Essence is softer. Okay, so this is, how can I do that right on that? I don't know if you'll be able to tell anything from that. I just think that they're pretty daggone close. I would try the Essence first and see how you like it. I tell you, they look almost just alike. And I will say the Essence is softer. Maybe I need to return it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is kind of a bummer. I saw this come out. 
they sent me an email. It's the new It CC Nude Glow SPF 40, and I got the neutral tan, and they were running a special. I, pro I don't know if I would have gotten it had they not been running this special, but you guys know this is like one of my just all-time favorite brushes here and it's like a special edition it has like it's a heavenly luxe brush and it has like the little hearts on it but i was watching babs beauty and she tried this i think it was last night and it was terrible she was saying it was splotching it had no coverage which they did say medium coverage skin tint so i still will try it or maybe i'll get my mom to try it and let you know but i guess it was a bummer because i usually like what she likes I wanted to show you this. I used it today and I got cold, so I couldn't keep my jacket off. It's going to be like 70 here, but it's the morning. It's only 10 o'clock right now, so I got cold. But this is the Fenty uh, Agave Spice Body Sauce. My friend Ariel told me to try this and I love it. What I did today it is the Moroccan Oil Body Lotion. It smells so good. When I smelled it in Sephora, I like had to have it. And it's the ambiance. It looks like a glass bottle, but it's not, which I love for the bathroom. And it just smells beautiful. So what I did today is I used this first, and then I used this all over, and just beautiful. It's easier to use than the Sally Hansen just because it's like a thinner formula, but it's similar, you know, it's similar to that, but I just wanted to show you what I used and I wanted to tell you about that. And then I think the last thing, oh, there's two more things. This is something that has just been fun and very practical when it comes to putting on my makeup. I told you guys I was gonna get some of these little makeup trays. I ordered them from Amazon. It was two of them in a pack, and I have loved it. For instance, this morning when I put my foundation, I put it on the tray, and I was able to, I kind of, you know, blended it all over so I didn't have like so much on my brush, and then I can set it aside, and if I want to go back and blend something out, I still have it there, and it's not on the back of my hand. It's also good if you want to mix foundations, and it's also good if you want to have a lighter shade and a darker shade to kind of do, you know, customize it. I just really have enjoyed those. And then last but not least, my lashes. I think we have a kind of split right down the middle. I had so many people from my last video and my last Instagram picture say, ask, what were these lashes? What were these lashes? And then I had so many people say they hated these lashes, but there are many of you out there, so we're all gonna have different, you know, opinions. But remember I showed you these lashes, Lashes in a Box, number 31, and they're pretty, they're pretty out there. I think I, I think I tried them on for you that day. So I saw these on the Walmart website. They are the Salon Perfect clusters and they are almost just like the other ones but much 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 more practical see how they're the same design they're clear in between and they're just the clumpy clumpy just so nice i love them so much this is what i had on in my beautylish video but the mistake I made was not having enough liner to support them, and I cut too much off. Today, I left them, and look how pretty they are. They are long, but either you like them or you don't, but, you know, I just wanted to show them to you because a lot of people will like them. I think we're down to my outfit of the day, and I have some clothes to show you, but I just don't have time, you guys. It's, this video will be too long. So I'm um, either, tell me below if you want to see like a fashion haul. I've got some, I'm wearing two new things now, but I've got some Zara, some Mango, and some Target. You know I'm not a Target lover, but I do love the Target tank tops. Those ones that they have every summer. 
So, and my mom loves these chips that are in there. And there was like a few things. Oh, I needed some um, like Clorox OxyClean that you add to the laundry. So there was like a couple of things I wanted to go there for. So I went and I ended up picking up a dress and some tank tops. But so let me know if you want to see that like in a separate little casual try on haul. And then um, let me show you what I have on. Okay, so I have on this bodysuit from Zara. You guys know I, I love bodysuits and I love like an interesting neckline like this. I just think it's so flattering and pretty. The thing is, this is, which I knew this, it was not expensive. This is like cotton. It's not like their other bodysuits that I love so much and it's not double lined and it's not real supportive. So if I had to say, I still prefer the halter bodysuits. And then these pants are full length. I don't have shoes on right now and I love them. They're kind of like that fluted pant, kind of like the sleeves of that shirt that I love so much. And I actually had ordered some before that were a little bit cropped and I gave those to Brooke because she could use them for work and everything. And then I ordered these because I thought I would rather have the full length and then, okay, I'm sure you guys have seen these. I saw them last year and I was so tempted to get them, but every time I tried, my size was sold out. And then this year, I had to pre-order them. It took them about, I would say, a month or two to come in, but they are the Louboutin flip-flops. And I just think that they're awesome. Now, I did bring up my Gucci flip-flops to compare them. And my Gucci flip-flops, I would say, are prettier. They're just, I mean, it's a different look, but I think, I just love, I have enjoyed these so much. I just wanted to show you the different, you know, thickness of them. Um, both of them have a pretty, let me grab this one. Both of them have a pretty sole. And then, of course, you get the, it's kind of understated, you know, the GG on this, but I love like the chevron pattern on this but you cannot deny that these are fun and they're interesting and they're going to look good on the feet. So I am going to put these, I didn't want to wear them until I tried them on to make sure they fit. They were true to size. These are 38 and I got them at Nordstrom. I pre-ordered them. Let me take this. I'm pretty bad about leaving tags on, leaving um, my blazer thing stitched and not getting it. I've got to take more time. With these pants, you're not going to see them as much, but with jeans and other pants, I just love them. And luckily, they don't have too much toe space. They just are really cute. Now, if you are deciding between the Gucci and the Louboutin, I believe they're the same price. I would recommend the Gucci. I think they're just a little bit nicer, but I just think these are pretty cool. And for accessories, I'm wearing my Jenny Bird hoops. I've got my Miranda Fry Huggies still in. My Sheila Fajal ring. I forgot to put on a watch. I was trying to decide which one. I thought about, I want to wear my Chanel watch, my white one, but I didn't want to get that um, Fenty sauce, <laughs> whatever, the body sauce on my white watch. So thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget about the Beautylish gift card event. I placed my order this morning and a lot of the stuff I wanted was already sold out. But, and then don't forget about the giveaway with Christian Audette and don't forget about the City Beauty 40% off. They run good sales. I really like them. And have a good weekend and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.